Gold Traps in Nature, Where Does Gold Accumulate Geologically? Gold has fascinated humanity for thousands of years, yet most people have no idea where it actually hides. It's not always in massive veins or deep underground mines. In fact, some of the richest gold can be found just beneath your feet, in places shaped by rivers, gravity, and time. Introduction Gold isn't just beautiful, it's geologically fascinating. While many see gold only as a commodity or symbol of wealth, geologists see it as a product of time, pressure, chemistry, and tectonics. But once gold escapes from its primary source, it becomes mobile, and its movement is governed by physical laws. Over millions of years, water and gravity relocate this precious metal, and if you know where to look, you can find gold in places where nature traps it. These natural gold traps form predictable patterns, and understanding them is essential for both scientific study and field prospecting. In this video, we'll explore the most common geological traps for gold, how they form, why they work, and what signs to look for in the field. From ancient riverbeds to bedrock fractures and black sand indicators, this is your guide to uncovering where gold hides in nature. 2. Alluvial Gold and River Deposition Once gold breaks free from a primary deposit, like a quartz vein or a hydrothermal ore, it is subject to transportation by erosion and water. This is how placer deposits are formed. Gold, being extremely dense, nearly 20 times denser than water, tends to settle quickly when water slows down. This behavior creates specific depositional patterns in river systems. Key Alluvial Traps Inside river bends, water slows on the inner curve, creating a low-energy zone. Gold settles in the gravel close to the bedrock. Point bars and gravel bars, these appear seasonally and often bury gold under layers of sand and silt. Plunge pools and step drops, the base of a small waterfall or rock step in a creek can create deep, quiet pools where gold concentrates. Creek junctions, where two waterways meet, turbulence and flow redirection may result in heavy material deposition. Over centuries, floods reposition gold again and again, sometimes concentrating it in narrow bands of rich gravel known as pay streaks. These can be millimeters to meters thick. 3. Bedrock structures, cracks, joints, and faults. When rivers or glaciers erode down to bedrock, mechanical traps form in cracks and joints. These structures are among the most reliable and long-lasting gold traps. Types of traps in bedrock. Transverse cracks, perpendicular to water flow, these act like miniature dams for gold. Longitudinal cracks, though less effective, they can store gold carried by eddies or side currents. Tectonic joints and fractures, created during faulting or folding, these can extend several meters into the rock. Gold in these traps may remain undisturbed for thousands of years, protected by overburden. Prospectors sometimes chisel into these cracks to recover gold lodged deeply. In high-grade areas, potholes naturally form in the bedrock, smooth, circular depressions caused by rotating pebbles. These can trap significant gold, especially after repeated floods. 4. Heavy Mineral Concentrates and Indicator Minerals Gold isn't the only heavy material that water moves. In fact, gold is often found alongside a family of high-specific gravity minerals. These include Magnetite Ilmenite Hematite Chromite Garnet Zircon Monazite These minerals are useful indicators. When found in significant amounts, black sands, they often signal a nearby energy drop in the water column, exactly where gold settles. Sometimes, gold is even invisible to the eye, masked by black sand or trapped beneath magnetite layers. During panning, if you see a high ratio of heavy dark sand, keep testing, it may hide fine gold flour or flakes. 5. Paleo channels and Buried Ancient Riverbeds Modern rivers aren't the only places gold hides. In many gold-bearing regions, the richest deposits have been found in paleo channels, ancient rivers buried beneath soil, lava flows, or glacial till. 
These old channels can be hundreds of thousands of years old and are no longer visible at the surface. However, their former paths can often be inferred from Satellite imagery and DEM, digital elevation models Rounded cobble concentrations far from active rivers Exposed channel remnants in road cuts or mine pits Mining companies use drill cores, resistivity surveys, and trenching to locate paleoplacer deposits. Some of the largest nuggets ever found in Australia and California came from such ancient streambeds. 6. How to spot gold traps in the field. Whether you're a field geologist or an amateur prospector, identifying gold traps requires careful attention to terrain, hydrology, and geology. Field clues. Erosion-resistant rocks at river bends. Dark bands of sediment indicating heavy minerals. Exposed bedrock with visible fractures. Clay layers beneath gravel, gold often settles on top of clay. Old benches above current rivers, former flood levels. Tools like a geological hammer, hand lens, sluice box, and metal detector enhance detection and recovery. Always take small test pans from different layers to evaluate where the gold is settling vertically. But nature doesn't give up its secrets easily. You need to understand how gold moves, where it settles, and, most importantly, where it gets trapped. In this video, we'll take a journey through real-world geology to uncover the natural traps where gold accumulates, and how you can recognize them in the field. Whether you're a student, a prospector, or just someone fascinated by how the earth works, this is the knowledge that separates guesswork from discovery. 7. Conclusion, Know the laws of nature, not just luck. Gold is never random. It's governed by mass, density, water flow, and time. The most successful geologists and prospectors don't chase luck, they chase the laws of deposition. By understanding where and how gold is naturally trapped, you don't just increase your odds, you transform your entire approach to exploration. Nature leaves clues. Learn to read them, and you'll unlock some of the Earth's most hidden and rewarding secrets. What you've seen in this video is more than just information, it's a guide into the hidden logic of the natural world. Gold is not scattered randomly across the Earth, it's deposited with purpose, following the laws of physics, chemistry, and time. Every bend in a river, every fracture in bedrock, every layer of black sand is a chapter in a much larger story, one that geology helps us read. If you've made it this far, you're not just curious, you're committed. Whether you're a geology student, a weekend prospector, a professional field geologist, or simply fascinated by the Earth's secrets, you now hold something incredibly valuable, knowledge that most overlook. And this is just the beginning. The Professional Geological Club is dedicated to unlocking the mysteries of Earth, one rock, one river, one deposit at a time. Here, we don't just teach geology, we live it. Our goal is to give you the insight, tools, and scientific understanding to explore the land beneath your feet with new eyes. So if you found value in this video, help us continue this journey. Click that subscribe button to join a global community of earth science enthusiasts and professionals. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video packed with practical tips, real case studies, and expert geological analysis. Share this video with classmates, colleagues, or anyone who still thinks gold is only found by luck. Your engagement fuels the channel and helps us produce better, deeper, and more field-focused content. Gold isn't just a metal, it's a lesson in how the earth works. And if you learn to listen carefully, you'll realize the planet has been whispering its secrets all along. Let's keep uncovering them, together. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode of Professional Geological Club.